Hello, 92 Green Z34 here. Um, I actually have a brandy to review for you today. It's an E and J brandy. Um, the, the thing that I find is pretty great is this is one of the cheaper brandies you can get. It's uh, this particular bottle, which is a what the hell is this one? 750. Which I, no, that's what I thought. 750 uh, actually only cost me 10 bucks. So 750 milliliter uh, for an 80 proof alcohol that's uh, you know only 10 bucks. Uh, so you know I gotta say right away I've had it before and I actually don't mind it. Um, there's some things that are pretty funny about it. Um, it says mellowed in aged oak up top, right, th right on the bottom that that little band that goes around that way. And then it uh, has a little little thing uh, up here, a little seal. This is very special fine brandy, which is the funny thing, part one. Uh, it says, again, right there, VS. This here is just a recycling sticker. I got it from Iowa. Um, VS, very special. Um, another thing I find funny is it says right here, where my... my uh, Fingers. It says rare, or rare right there, and the blend right there, and that's definitely not rare. It says uh, extra smooth original E and J brandy, 80 proof, 40 percent alcohol by volume. Um, color is a medium caramel color, kind of light, pretty transparent up to the light, pretty pretty clear that way. But it is a brown liquor. It's in a clear bottle. Um, let's see here, it just has. Uh, See here, Melody made joke in the back. One of the most distinctive qualities of E&J Brandy is its remarkable character. This is accomplished by a vertical, yeah, vertical blending of brandies of different ages from the finest white oak barrels, which we personally have selected. This expensive and time-consuming aging process also develops a full and natural brandy flavor of E&J Brandy. Uh, blended, blended and bottled by E&J Distillers, Modesto, California. Um, so that's pretty much everything. That's just kind of a little story on the back. They show like some guys actually by the little barrels, um, but nothing too fancy. Um, let's open it up. Uh, whew, yep. Um, has a very uh, woody, wooded scent. Has a scent of like um, if you've ever smelt fresh cut oak and then it, it's kind of wet and stale um, like you cut something on a project and the next day it's dewy out and you, you smell the wood it kind of has that scent um, it's actually smooth it um, smells smells doable it is I've never been one for straight shots but but I will take a straight shot of this um, something tells me it will be a bit of a burn but uh, There's probably a shot in there now. Just a tiny bit of that wine from before mixed in with it, but I'm not too concerned about it. Um, <sighs> cheers. <sighs> it's weird how smooth it finishes, though. It's, it's like it hits your tongue, and you're like, ooh, alcohol, alcohol. And then, huh, I'll let you go. It's uh, it's all right. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think what I'd mix with that. I think red beer would be okay. And I actually have, I got a couple of two liters sitting here. Both been chilled. Uh, yeah. Just store brand root beer. Take my E and J again. Probably half shot. This is just a tiny glass. I wish I had a bigger glass with me, but I didn't come prepared for that. So we got probably a quarter mix. So it's probably a quarter E and J. The rest is um, just two liter off brand root beer. It's very, very, very drinkable. Hmm. You guys give me a second. I'm going to have to leave the camera frame for a second. I want to 
I want to make it a little better. I want to mix it a little better. And I'm back. If you notice my goofy mic setup, it's because I'm trying to improve the quality of my videos. I don't care if it makes me look kind of like an idiot. I like it so you guys can see me and hear my voice around the same time. It's a little bit off yet, and the quality still isn't too good, but it's better than what it was otherwise. So what I'm going to do is actually get a bigger, bigger glass here. Take this little drink I made here. Take and put more E and J in there. Quite a bit in there now. Pretty reasonable, I guess. Maybe not. It's not real strong, I guess. There's probably not quite a quarter in there. I don't want to fill it up too much because I want to keep it somewhat strong. It's very drinkable when it's like that. I guess um, that's going to be my recommendation, is to actually mix it with uh, root beer. Um, it's probably good with Coke, probably good with cherry Coke. Uh, vanilla Coke would be good. Um, you know, Pepsi, any cola, actually. Um, but I'm going to say go ahead and mix it with root beer. It's very drinkable. Uh, as always, guys, cheers. Have a good day.